Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about a character from San Andreas and Grand Theft Auto 5 that talks about returning or wanting to return in Grand Theft Auto 6. We'll be talking about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. So obviously there are a lot of questions when it comes to the next installment in the GTA series. When is it going to be coming out? What location is it going to be set at? Is it even in development? Does it exist at all? And another question you could possibly ask is what returning characters may show up for the sequel? I think it's very clear that characters likely from Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5 will make a return. And who knows how the timeline could ultimately work where if we see characters from the uh, trilogy era, that would also be very cool as there are some iconic characters there. And while we don't know the answer to that just yet, we do know one voice actor and likeness who is hoping to return for a sequel, GTA 6. So the website Inverse actually talked to actor Fred Melamed about his role in WandaVision, which is a show that many of you guys are probably watching right now. And the actor revealed that he is hoping to reprise his recurring GTA in the upcoming sequel. And the actor revealed that he is hoping to return in Grand Theft Auto 6, if that, of course, is Rockstar's next title. So in case you guys don't know who we're talking about today, Melamed is the actual voice actor in GTA 5 and San Andreas as Chris Formage, who is a religious cult leader who runs the Epsilon program throughout the series. And the organization plays a central role in GTA 5 as players can infiltrate it to complete a series of missions. And just in case you guys never completed those missions or just don't know who Chris Formage is or want a refresher, here are some of his scenes in GTA 5. Welcome, Zondar. I'm so happy to see that you understand everything. Well, I know nothing, Chris, with no H. Well, then you know everything. Kiflam. Kiflam. The tract is being written. We're writing the tract together. Together. I'm writing the tract here. Do you have the cash? Yes. Yes, I do. Today... I was speaking with Carpetan in the Paradigm 4. And he said that we should deliver some of the Apocalypse funds to the Cayman Islands. Ah, Kiflam. Then you and I can write the tract. Kiflam. Zondar, tell me, have you reached my paradigm? Kiflam. Now, are you ready to write the tract? Kiflam. Just make sure to deliver this big bale of cash to my helicopter. Oh, and I'm sure you'll be pleased to know Kraft is very impressed with your progress. Ah. Kipla. Welcome, brother, brother. Welcome. You see? They said I was a charlatan, a fraud, a nothing. But I am a miracle. Look and behold in wonder. And ask yourself, what does mighty Chris Formage, leader of the Epsilon program, do with his enormous power? Why, he uses it to watch people, of course. Join me any time you like in watching. They never find out, and they can't harm you. It is the greatest pleasure on Earth. And trust me, I've lain with a multitude of women. So, now that you know that is Chris Formage, he also makes a brief appearance in Grand Theft Auto Online when you die for the first time. Uh, he actually, like, appears to you as sort of like an angel, which is kind of funny. So, Inverse actually asked him about his involvement in GTA 6, and Melamed said he is game to bring back his role, which is kind of cool. So, he said, I hope so. When you work for Rockstar, it's like making a big-budget feature film. 
It's almost like working for Marvel. They have a massive studio in New York, and you sign NDAs. They go on and on for like, oh, like a Bible. They're huge, and they swear you to secrecy. And Melamed confirmed that while he hopes to return, he's not currently working on the project. He says, as to whether or not Chris Fromage will make another appearance, I don't know, but I'm certainly game, he says. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we can take from this. Obviously, it's very cool to hear from a GTA 5 voice actor and likeness, especially when they played such a unique and interesting character in the series. But there's two things that I think you can get really from his comments. The first is that that could mean maybe GTA 6 isn't far enough along in development to have reached his stage of casting, which would at the time put a pin in any hopes that fans will probably see it this year. Now, I would say that would be unlikely anyways, but still, it looks like it's not that far along in development. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that Chris Formage is not going to make an appearance in the game, because after all, it's very unlikely that he would be a main character. In fact, his role might have been reserved for side missions or uh, extra quests, so maybe his role could be basically put on at the end, not something that has to start from the very beginning. It also could mean that the Epsilon program just simply doesn't play a role in the new game. Considering that GTA setting changes from game to game, it is unlikely that we'd return to Los Santos in a sequel, leaving Chris Fromage behind, unless, of course, he decided to move his cult to another city which is something we've seen from various in-game GTA brands and likenesses throughout the series. Now, the rest of the interview is actually really interesting. As for the man behind the voice, Melamed says that he has been gaming more than usual during the pandemic, and he says he's mostly been playing with one of his sons. He says, you know, when his friends find out that I've been in some of the frontier titles, some of the Rockstar stuff, they're not impressed that I was shortlisted for an Oscar, but they find out I was in Grand Theft Auto, and it is a big deal. And he says, Grand Theft Auto isn't the only gaming franchise that I'm interested in. He's been playing a wide range of games from Rockstar titles to lesser-known RPGs, saying, I thought Red Dead 2 was great. There's another one that came out at the same time called Kingdom Come, which is a great game. It was a little bit obscured because the Rockstar titles are so gigantic. We've recently gotten into some of the Telltale titles. Telltale is an interesting company that does things that are kind of comic book based design, but they're heavier. So long story short, even though he doesn't really confirm or deny that he is in GTA 6, at this point in time, it truly could be because he really doesn't know. And it might be up to Rockstar. Maybe Chris Fromage just does not play a role. Maybe it's in a different location like Vice City or San Andreas. And so because of that, there aren't any plans for him to be in the game regardless. But it is still cool to hear one of the voice actors from one of the series' most iconic characters talk about the next GTA game. I do think that is pretty interesting. So I would, of course, love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Let me know what you think about this interesting interview regarding Chris Fromage's voice actor, his role in GTA 6. Do you want him to return in GTA 6? Let me know what you guys are thinking in those comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.